Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the regex tool. A regular expression is a search pattern used for matching one or more characters within a string. It can match specific characters, wildcards, and ranges of characters. Very, very useful. The first output method that we're going to look at is regex match. So what we're going to look at here is the pattern that typically makes up a social security number. Um, we're going to put that into our regex tool and then have a new column created that says whether or not it matches the pattern. So we're looking for that social security number that uh, those of us in the U.S. know is generally three digits with a dash, two digits, another dash, and then four digits at the end. So as you kind of look through our examples that we have here, the first five match that pattern, but then record number six, seven, and eight don't. Uh, the next output method that we're going to look at is uh, the regex parse method. So we have a VAT number that's surrounded by some uh, inconsistent other fields, and we're going to want to parse that out. So we write a regular expression that just pulls that out. We'll look at that example again later. Next, we're going to look at regex replace. So in this case, we want to get rid of everything else except for that VAT number that we looked at in our previous example. So we're going to write an expression that says, hey, look at everything before and everything after this pattern that we're looking for, but let's only keep that second group, which is the stuff in the middle that we want. So uh, we're going to only keep the pattern that we have defined here. Um, in this case, it's three digits followed by a dash, two digits, another dash, and then five digits at the end. The last output method that we're going to look at is uh, tokenize, and uh, we're going to take this chunk uh, called the address, and we're going to break it into three parts. So it is basically the street number and name, followed by the city, and then ending with the uh, state abbreviation and zip code. I tell you, Blake, that looks a lot like the text-to-column tool output. It, it really does, and we could use the text-to-column in this case because we are just using the comma as our... Um, delimiter. As our delimiter. Absolutely. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, here, uh, I guess the big benefit of using the regex tool to tokenize is you can use all the regular expression patterns to call out different types of strings you want for your delimiter. So it's much more flexible. Absolutely. There are some additional resources that you can look at as well. Uh, regex101.com is my favorite, and it's got a, we've got a picture of it here. Um, people also tend to like regexer.com as well. Let's take a closer look at the configuration panel for the regex tool, which we can find in the parse category. As we hook it up to a chunk of data, first we'll have to select which field we want to parse. Then taking a look at the output method, the drop down at the bottom of the configuration panel, we can select one of the four output methods. And lastly, the regular expression drop down is a fantastic resource for those of us that are just getting started working with regex. It allows us to pick out the type of pattern or type of character that we're interested in. In this case, we're looking for a digit that appears one or more time in a sequence. And including the parentheses is going to create what's called a marked group. And using the output method of parse, this allows us to look at a field with address information and just pull out the street number even when there is a variable uh, number of characters. Thanks, Aaron. Now we're going to look at the uh, regex examples that are provided by Alteryx that we can access by right-clicking on the regex tool and opening the example. First, we're going to look at regex match, and we're going to uh, be looking at our address field and taking the uh, um, seeing if it's a nine-digit zip code or not. So uh, we're going to be ignoring everything at the beginning. All we really want to know is, does this end with a dash and then four digits? Yes or no? Is that true or is that false? So the column that we're going to be looking at is the address column. We're going to ignore everything at the beginning by saying any single character zero or more times, but what's important is the dash and then four digits. And we'll see that that's true in many of the cases. The next output method we're going to look at is parse, and we're going to be parsing out the first name and the last name from the name field. We are going to parse the name field. Our expression is going to be two marked groups creating two columns. 
The first marked group is any group of letters. Then there's a space, and our second group is any letters, which signifies the last name. So we end up with two fields for the first name and the last name. The next output method that we're going to look at an example of is the replace method. So in the replace method, we are going to create uh, marked groups. And within the column that we're parsing, we're going to replace the strings with the marked groups of our choosing. So we're going to be taking the address field and we're going to be replacing that with the uh, uh, zip code followed by a colon, the city name, a comma, and then the state abbreviation. So you can see that that field is being changed to include our zip code, colon, our city name, comma, and uh, our state abbreviation. The last method that we're going to look at is the tokenized method, and we're going to look at two different ways to do this. So the first one is we're just going to split to columns when we know how many fields we're looking for. This is the example that we looked at earlier in the video where we're taking the address, we're looking at the comma as a delimiter, and we're going to be splitting out into three columns based on that. Our last example is uh, where we're going to tokenize, but we're going to split to rows. So we have this little table here that tells us our managers names and the states that they look over. So we have Tom, Tim, and Harry, and they each have um, a certain number of states that they look at. And uh, we're going to write a regular expression that is going to just pull out the uh, two letter combinations. So we see we've got California, Massachusetts, Oregon, and Washington for Tom. Our regular expression is going to look for two uppercase letters and then split those to rows. So now we have a nice little lookup table that shows us the uh, um, states that are covered by Tom, Tim, and Harry. Fantastic use when you have a variable number of items within one cell. You can also use the summarize tool to get some more insight out of that. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.